I'm in Las Vegas on invitation by ZF. You know those guys who make those telepathic transmissions that we love driving in cars like BMWs? Those guys. So when I arrived here, I got in touch with my coordinator at ZF and I wanted to know or I was super excited about knowing what car I was going to be driving. Well, her answer was a nod and she told me I'm going to be driven around. Not the kind of stuff that I'm excited about usually, am I? But today it's a little different. And that is because this car doesn't have a steering wheel, neither on that side nor here. All I have is two infotainment screens and a few options of where I want to go. Suddenly the despair in the idea of being driven around changed to the excitement of experiencing a self-driven or a level 5 autonomous vehicle. Most legislations around the world will initially allow self-driving vehicles only in fenced or geofenced locations until they prove their reliability and safety. So ZF chose a large parking lot where artificial kiosks were placed in various locations and they acted as a school, mall, theatre, etc. So where should we go? Mall? We can go to the hotel for example. Oh yeah, let's go back to the hotel. So all that I do is select the hotel on the infotainment screen and the car starts driving on its own. Like I said, no steering wheel, no pedals either. Everything is happening autonomously. This right here is the future of the automobile. Frankly, the experience is surreal and familiar at the same time. Surreal because I've never felt the sound of the drivetrain, the resistance of the rolling tyres and the vibrations of a running car without a human driver in the picture. It was also familiar because the experience is very similar to climbing floors in an elevator or being ferried on a metro rail. The big difference being the ability of this car to make measured turns by altering the throttle input and using the brakes only for coming to a complete halt for pedestrians, cyclists or the destination itself. It is difficult to trust this system at first, but by the time I had taken selfies and posted about this historic moment on Instagram, I had already begun trusting my virtual chauffeur. Probably that process will take longer in the real world, where the stakes are higher and that acceptability will dictate how soon this technology is ready to hit the road. On the technology front, however, ZF is already prepared to face the big bad world and its strength lies in its sensor expertise and a supercomputer. For autonomous driving capability, the car needs to see and analyse everything that a human driver would see and then some. Unlike a human, the car also needs to have a 360-degree view of the surroundings in order to move about safely. For this, a combination of cameras, radar and LiDAR is used to make sure that the car can see in multiple directions and is able to identify the path, other vehicles and objects and pedestrians irrespective of the weather conditions. This data is also used for new age assistance systems like automated braking, pedestrian detection and evasive manoeuvring to name a few. ZF has therefore been relentlessly working on camera, radar and lidar technologies to improve their capabilities, accuracy and harmony between each other. Since all these systems need to be alert at all speeds, the car also needs a computer that can collect and analyze the data faster than the human brain. Therefore, ZF has been working closely with the chipset and AI experts at NVIDIA to create an ecosystem of scalable super ECUs called the Pro AI. The base Pro AI ECU called the Gen 1 is ready for all the ADAS safety technologies like automated braking and city pilot that are mandated by most NCAP norms for 2022. The range-topping RoboThink or Gen 4 supercomputer on the other hand can process up to 600 teraops for level 5 autonomous driving capabilities using ZF's advanced sensor set. ZF tells us that the RoboThink supercomputer will be production ready by the end of the year. This RoboThink is the very computer that also powers the ride-hailing van that I was driven around in. And the fact that it worked quite well, despite being virtually retrofitted on an existing model, only shows how promising it will be in cars that are purpose-built for autonomous driving. It is no wonder then that ZF is so proud about the fact that its autonomous and connected driving solutions aren't just show floor concepts anymore and are ready for series production by as early as 2020.